Konnichiwa? No. No? No, no Japanese today? No. No Konnichiwa? But we still want to say welcome back to our channel, right? Yeah. And today we're going to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of homeschool with Joshua, right? We're going to head back home. Um, we're going to make a card for someone special, right? Yeah. And we're getting a pumpkin right now, another one for our church. So at our church's pumpkin patch. So we're gonna go get our pumpkin right now. I don't have my uh, my gimbal to hold my phone, so I can't video that. But we'll show you the pumpkin when we get back home and uh, everything else that we're gonna talk about in today's video. So hope you guys stick around. Yeah, stick around, and we'll see you in a minute. Thanks. I'm going to show you something Joshua did when I was I had stopped filming for a minute to go do something and I came back and he had done this do I made a funnel for a marble oh wow let's see using this they cut off the holes and using a marker and and it's a funnel yeah for a marble that's pretty creative Oh, I can't see. All right, here it is. Wow, super creative, huh? Okay, so yeah, he made a marble. He made a little marble funnel, which is really he's obsessed with marbles. What? <laughs> hmm. What is it? What are you what are you doing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> We were talking about past, present, and future, right? Mommy was explaining that to you earlier. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. Trying to get to where I can we can see both of us. Yeah. So what is Joshua? Joshua. What? What is the past? Before. The past is before, right? Yeah. Can we put this down? Can we put this down for a second? So the past is before and the present is when? When is the present? Right, right, here. right now, right? And the future is? What is the future? One second. One second, like one second ahead of us, right? Anything that is, that's not right now, but is after this moment is the future, right? Yeah. And I did explain this much better earlier. So here's what I was explaining to him. He has, we sold our home. A year ago, we moved into an apartment, which is something we've been wanting to do for a long time. The the home he was raised in, and he has a lot of anxiety. This is the house and wants to be back at the house. Although I don't, I really know he doesn't want to be back at the house. He doesn't understand the, you can miss something, but not have to go back to it. You just have to go through those emotions of missing it and hold on to the good memories, right? Yeah. Hold on, sit up and listen, please. So I was trying to explain to him about, are you listening? Right. Yeah. Moving into the future. And if you want to go and do wonderful things in the future, if you, here, give me markers. Joshua, markers please, markers please, all of them. No, I want all of them in here. I, not these. Okay, why can't those go in there? There's a pencil. Okay, so we can't put anything in here but the markers, the OCD. That's the OCD. And he's very good at organizing, which I appreciate a lot. Are these okay? Yeah. You sure? Yeah, well. 
something else needs to come out. So this this is this was not what I was going for, but as you can see, this is another thing I have. Um, cans that have to be in order, refrigerator has to be in order. Specifically thinking of Target. When we walk into Target and they have the caps, islands that you can, you pass by as you're walking in, right? And everybody shuffles through those and moves things. We spend at least 10 minutes as he rearranges and put things, puts things back. I try to shuffle him by very quickly. So the thing that is, works really, really well with Joshua is diversion. Um, diverting his attention if he's having if he's stimming if he's having meltdowns if he's having if he's starting to get overly excited or agitated where I try to divert attention quickly and if I have to get up and go somewhere I will do it because I want him to be able to move from what he's doing into transition into something else quickly so I've gone to some complete extremes to divert this child's attention, but this works for, so you can see how he is. So it comes in handy a lot of times. All my markers and trying to tell Joshua about future and, and doing things with his life, because we talk about that a lot in school and what he's gonna do. I'm trying to encourage him with things that he does with his YouTube channel, with his editing, with his filming. He got a new phone so he could film and I guess I take this back from my mom. <laughs> Sorry, mom. She's a wonderful mom. I love her, love her, love her. But it was a different time back then. And go to college and you have to, you know, do all these things. I really wanted to be encouraged to do the things that I loved, which was horseback riding and some other things. So I think that we can really take what kids do and what they enjoy and just finesse that and try to encourage it and make something out of it. So when he got into the jimmies and the collecting and, and all of that, it was like, wow, he's learning editing. He's learning filming. Let's encourage that end of it. Not so much maybe the spending the money and collecting, but learning the computer and learning the backside, the back end of things, how to edit in Adobe and different programs. So that's where we started talking about his future and things like that. And the lesson was... Do you remember what the lesson was about the future and how with the house and letting go of some things in the past, you have to let go to move from, you have to let go of your past to do what? To move on. To move on, right? Yeah. Good job. Good job. That's a great job. That's it. That's the end of the video. I have no more. I'm, I'm just so... Good job, Joshua. You guys, this is huge, so I'm sorry. I'm like, you're witnessing it. I'm super, super happy. So if you like this video and you like what he did, give him a thumbs up because the encouragement is great for him. He does look at the comments. I do tell him about people saying hello to him and, and he looks at stuff. So he's not real engaging as far as talking back and saying something. But he does look at them and it does help. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And you guys have a great week. We're going to start doing videos. I'm going to try to do three videos a week and a live stream. So we're going to do a homeschool live stream. Just like what I just did. Um, this would be like a live stream. We would do a lesson. So stay tuned for that. If you guys think you would like to see that, let me know. Because I really don't know what to do. Um, I'm just trying to spread awareness. So... See you later. Tell them bye. Tell everybody bye. And subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, I don't have a subscribe shirt on. You've got the subscribe shirt, but he doesn't have one. See you guys. Bye.